task B5. Inspect, test, service, repair, or replace ignition system secondary circuit wiring and components, including coil on plug or cop systems. Visibly inspect the ignition system secondary circuit wiring for chafing against metal brackets or exhaust manifolds that could cause arcing, as well as improper routing. Misrouted wires can increase the possibility of cylinder crossfire that can cause extreme engine damage. Check wires and spark plug boots for coolant or oil soaked conditions and replace them if these conditions exist. Check spark plug wire terminals for signs of corrosion or arcing at both ends of the wire. Check wires for proper resistance with an ohmmeter. Specifications are listed in the service manual and are usually expressed in ohms per foot. Typical ohms per foot are 1k ohm or 1000 ohms per inch of wire. Inspect distributor caps and rotors for burn terminals and cracks as well as secondary voltage arcing damage. Use an ignition oscilloscope for leakage and secondary wiring. Spray a fine mist of water and vinegar or a bit of ammonia on the wires to simulate damp conditions that cause many secondary ignition problems. Warn spark plug gaps or excessive distributor cap to rotor air gaps are easily tested with an ignition scope. Plug or cop ignition system is the one with an internal ignition module. On these, the ignition module is usually built right on top of the coil itself. You can usually identify this system by the use of three wires at the connector to the coil. However, not all three wire coils are going to be coil unplugged with a built-in ignition module. The system is actually fairly simple. The three wires out of the connector are the power feed, the ground, and the trigger wire coming from the ECM. This trigger line is a low voltage and current trigger wire. Do not test this type of trigger wire using a test light. Oftentimes a 5 volts reference pulse is used to trigger the built-in ignition module. Do not test low voltage circuits with a test light. If you do, you're simply going to load the circuit and the test is not going to work properly. To test low voltage circuits, you can use the Logic Probe, which is a low voltage digital test light, an oscilloscope, graphing multimeter, or normal voltmeter. The current drawn by this type of trigger circuit is very low. Sometimes three wires are used on non built in ignition module coil on plug systems. If this is the case, the third wire is used as a feedback for the ECM to know that a spark event has happened. Consult the wiring diagram before delving into the diagnostic process. The ignition timing and well on any COP system is calculated by the ECM and not the ICM or ignition module.